We're gonna exploit somebody. Basically a thousand dollars worth of coral we're, we're missing. I want you guys to please, please, do me a favor, share the video, okay? Two things in this world that I hate. There's the camera right there. Right I mean, there, look at that. When you see this footage, I'm telling you, man, it's gonna blow you away. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian Fish Keeper. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome to the channel. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. And speaking of stopping by, why don't you guys just do it more often? In order to do that, hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. It's a notification bell. Hit that bell, click it, turn it on. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. And the best part, it's free. It doesn't cost you a thing, all right? And then you're part of the ohana. And let me tell you something. My ohana is probably the coolest on YouTube. My Ohana, you know you guys are. Now I'm super excited for this video because one, we're gonna exploit somebody on my channel and it's something that I've never done before. Uh, but these two individuals need to be exploited and to just be cautious out there. If you're a local fish store, there's people out there doing this stupid act. I, it's unbelievable. Once you see this footage, you guys are gonna be like, wow, blown away. Just on the minds of thieves. Yeah, we're talking about two individuals that came into Geyser Pets and they stole over a thousand dollars in corals. Yeah, read my lips. Over a thousand dollars in corals. We're just gonna go ahead and call these two individuals Harry and Lloyd. You know, from Dumb and Dumber because they actually did the act of stealing corals right in front of the HD surveillance camera. You stupid. Yeah. Oh. Good move, guys. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. When you see this footage, I'm telling you, man, it's gonna blow you away. It's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> so I just felt as, you know, the Hawaiian fish keeper, and I visit all my local fish stores, and I support the hell out of every single one of them. It was my duty to exploit these two individuals. Now, when I sat down and thought about doing this video, I wasn't doing it just to bring awareness to Geyser Pets in Yuba City and everybody who lives here in Yuba City, but it was also to spread awareness to all the other local fish stores, whether it be Aquarium or Reptile Depot in Citrus Heights, Aqualife in Rockland, uh, what else do we have? Exotic Aquarium over in Sacramento, along with Splash Aquarium, over in Sacramento and just pretty much any other local fish store that carries corals all right now just remember these were corals that were actually stolen so stupid you're a moron and there's two things in this world that I hate one green beans I can't stand green beans and two thieves I hate thieves especially thieves that are stealing from our local fish store two things in the world I hate. Now I know I was just here and I recently did a video, uh, but I had to come back, you know. Jeff texted me, he told me the story and I was like, I'm gonna make a video about this. So I came back down to the store to do this video for you guys. Okay, so Jeff, the store manager is off today, but I'm gonna talk to the supervisor, Blake, on actually what happened and go into detail. He's actually busy with some customers. So in the time being, let's check out some of the goodies that they got. I wanna show you guys this puffer, check them out. Look at this puffer, looking for scraps. He wants some more clams. Look at him. Give me more clams. Give me more clams. Give me more clams. That's what he's saying. Look at those chompers, huh? Look at those. If you're new and you've never seen Geyser Pets above the ground pond, check it out. This is where they have all of their kois. Beautiful selection of kois here. They also have, uh, if you can see way down low there, they got some plecos and some various goldfish in this above ground pond. It's one of my favorite displays here at Geyser Pets. Check it out. They have this cool waterfall that runs down from the top here. Pothos coming down. Very Amazon jungle-ish, if you will. And check it out. The fish prices. Look at that. Not bad for two to four inch koi. $15.99 or three for $40. You know, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. And look at the colors, so many to choose from. I don't know the individual names, but I mean, 
just look at them and they're all healthy. They look beautiful. I've done videos where they actually done water changes on this above ground pond. It gets super low and they fill it back up. So they take care of their fish here, just so you guys know. They have a really nice selection of saltwater and freshwater fish here. Also the corals too as well. As you can see, I'm just kind of scanning the area. All their saltwater aquariums over here on this side and they go all the way down. Actually, I want to show you guys some of these. Look how pretty these saltwater fish are. I know nothing about this fish, but look how gorgeous these are. Look at that. So pretty, right? But not only that though, check out this one. Ooh, I love this. This is a type of angel fish, I believe. Now, if you look at the colors, it's like blue and like white. It does not look like this full grown. It totally goes through a big change. All of my salty heads down below in the comments can uh, let me know what it is. Um, I really appreciate it. Gosh, I forget the name of this fish too. See, maybe I should just start getting into salt water, huh? Look how pretty this guy is though. He's a beaut. He's a beaut. Now I've said this before about guys or pets. They are the one-stop shop. They even have reptiles. Check out these. So I'm gonna take you through the jungle, all right? Welcome to the jungle. Check out all these reptile display cases that they have. So many. Pythons, geckos, monitors. Oh, my favorite two of all time, chameleons. We'll take a look at some of the chameleons though. But look at all these displays they have. I mean, look at all these, look at these red ear sliders. Look at them. Look at them all piled on top of each other. What in the heck are they doing? What are they forming a cheerleader pyramid? Look at them all. Just hanging out. Enjoying life, huh? It's beautiful. Oh, there's little fish in here too. That's what they're probably snacking on. You can see the fish down there in the background. Oh yeah. Look at this little guy. Hey, what's up, bud? You wanna come home with me and be the first to be in a turtle enclosure? There's been quite a bit of you guys saying, hey, you should do turtles. You should do turtles. Look at them. Hi, everybody. Uh, was, um, uh, me. And then as we turn the corner here, look at this. Just more enclosures all the way down of reptiles. <gasps> oh, look at these chameleons. <gasps> Jackson's chameleon. <gasps> look at, look at. Let's go from the top. <gasps> wow. Look how pretty. I know the screen is in the way, but oh gosh, I love chameleons. I wanna say, I would have to say my favorite reptile. Mark my words, when Tiki Lounge is built, we're gonna get a chameleon enclosure. I have to. This is beautiful. I love this enclosure, look at it. Let's just take a step back. Look at that, that's one hell of an enclosure. Oh my gosh, and if you want to buy this setup, look at this setup. This is a pair, a male and a female. Jackson's Chameleons, full setup, $864. Wow. Now I'm going to say full setup includes the two chameleons as well. Uh, but don't quote me, okay? Don't quote me. <laughs> All right, my Ohana, so check it out. I'm here with Blake, the actual supervisor here at Geyser Pets. Now, I wanted him to go over the story with you guys, and then I'm gonna show you guys the footage. So stay tuned, all right? You guys do it's not crazy. wanna miss this footage. Now, right behind us here is the scene of the crime, all right? No, so what happened? So it was a crazy busy day. Uh -huh. uh, Kyle and I were busy bagging customers pretty much all day, and these two gentlemen were here for at least an hour and a half. I just thought they were looking. Guy had a, 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 a like a 7-Eleven big gulp cup. Yeah, it was like 44 ounce cup. Yeah, a big old cup. You know, I'm not gonna disturb a customer with a cup. He's allowed to have a cup. Uh, but I asked them, hey, do you guys need any help with anything? And his response was weird. I remember thinking, oh, he kind of aggressively said, no, he didn't want help. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, Went and go yeah. did my own thing, but that stayed in my mind. And then Austin, our coworker, who is uh, uh, very aware of which co what corals are or are not in the right spot, uh -huh. came in and noticed that the three most expensive corals, the golden hammer, Golden A can and one other thing that I can't remember, Austin would know better, but basically a thousand dollars worth of coral were, were missing. And 
a couple of times, I'm sure, as you guys know, even from your own experiences, a reef tank, maybe an urchin will move something a couple inches or mm -hmm. something, but these were big frags of very heavy stuff. The most they've ever moved was like an inch and a half. So they knew exactly what they were looking for. Oh, they, I, came they, they, they came in and spent what? hours <laughs> looking wow. and finding the most expensive stuff, and then they took it. We have their face like on camera. I don't know if they didn't notice that they were on candid camera. Uh, one guy even pulled his mask down at one point, so we do have their faces, and, and there's video of them reaching all the way down in, scooping water with their cup. It's And honestly, I, I told everyone that that's what I thought what happened, but everyone's like, no, Blake, these are just two, two random guys. This is in Ocean's Eleven. Which requires a different six-digit code changed every 12 hours. This is crazy. We reviewed the footage, and <laughs> it's exactly what happened. Ocean's I'm not, Eleven. I'm not trying to laugh about it and play no, it off, because it no. does suck immensely, but... Yeah. Uh, what else can you do but laugh at? Yeah, at that's this, wild. We're going to just call these two suspects dumb and dumber. Oh, yeah. He's going down. Because like they did it right in front of the HD camera. They had no idea. It. They were so focused on what was down in the aquariums that they didn't know, like, two feet away, right on the wall. Inches. And, yeah, yeah. In, in broad daylight, you can see the actual security cameras. That's an idiot. So, right yeah, we're there. gonna call these guys, what are they, Lloyd and Harry. Yeah. No way! <laughs> you gotta be kidding! That's not right! That's like what it. we're gonna call them, right? And remember, we're, we're not a Walmart. This is this is Mr. Geyser's, John Geyser's store. Yeah, family owned. A, a, a non-profit. He gives to charity more than anyone I've ever known in my life, and these guys came in here and thought this was the place to to steal from it's pretty messed up so let's find them yeah like okay? i said we're not just i'm not just making this video to uh raise awareness here at geyser pets in yuba city but it's for all the local fish stores out there you know absolutely um just be aware of these two knuckleheads all right or idiot i like to call them okay yep. um we're gonna exploit them we're gonna blast them on social media i want you guys to please please do me a favor, share the video, okay? We're gonna try to get these two knuckleheads, whether it be this store or any other store, from them ever doing it again. And a matter of fact, matter of fact, I didn't say this to Blake or Jeff, but I'm actually, if you, if, if you guys come in and you guys know who these two individuals are and you give the names and we can make some type of report on them, uh, I'm gonna give $200 of my earned money, a gift card to you guys out there, okay? I want these guys caught. It's super annoying. It bothered me. The story was just, I don't know, just unsettling for me. And so that's what I'm going to do, all right? So my Ohana, every anybody out there watching this video locally, please, let's catch these coral thieves. I mean, that's come cool. on, man. And I'm going to donate $200. So you'll have a gift card, $200 gift card for Geyser Pets. I like it a lot. Let me swing the camera around. We'll give you so, some nice discounts too. We'll make it worth it. You there know? you go. If you see? give us information, we can get these guys never come back in here again. That'd be amazing. See, there you go. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing the camera around so then Blake can kind of like, show you know, show yeah, exactly the what they did. And not only that, though, then I'll jump into the footage and you can see these morons. Okay, okay so right here is the seat of the crime. The expensive corals were right in this little area here. They first stood. So first they had the coral viewer and were viewing down, looking at everything. And there's the camera right there. Right I mean, there. Look at that. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. Clearly we have the video of the guy doing this. It's even got red lights. Yeah. With the water like this. He fills his cup up. Why are you going to fill your cup with salt water unless you go steal something, right? Exactly. And then the corals they stole, they were, I mean... Well, let's not even factor that in. Let's factor the factor the thought that what was on that cup could have damaged and killed oh, oh, every absolutely. coral in that tank and the fish. There were two drops of sugar. In yeah. Ten thousand dollars full of coral and fish. Twenty year old tank. Oh, I know. Gosh, man. Schmucks. I know. If I had to guess, I'd say they probably wanted the coral for themselves. I don't think they were looking to sell it. Mm. Otherwise, they just would have taken a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff, stuff you're right. More of mass than quality, because they literally cased the joint, <laughs> essentially, and took the three most expensive corals, and not to make it one way or the other, but they, they were Austin's personal corals. Yeah. He was keeping them in this tank, so he's extra solid. Are you no serious? Quality, These no are quality. Austin's corals? He's, Austin. <gasps> he's a 17-year-old boy. I didn't know that. Yeah, so it's, it's on another level. Of that makes me more pissed, man. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. If, if we find him, we'll... Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna slam the book on them Absolutely. as much as we could. Absolutely. Oh my gosh! So so they were sitting right over there looking in that viewer, yeah, and yeah, then just, just in case to those gentlemen, if you guys want to do the right thing, there's always room to do the right thing. Either 
bring the 17 year old as corals back or come in and pay him back for it? Uh, yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, sure if would we, be. you know, I know those corals aren't dead, so if we can get the corals back for Absolutely. Austin, I mean, just so you guys know, Austin's an employee here, great kid. He's helped me numerous amazing, times. Yeah. He is very knowledgeable. Yeah, in the actual hobby too, as well. Very helpful. I ask him questions all the time, along with Blake, um, and it's just. Unfortunate. That's sad, dude. I didn't know those were his personal corals. Yeah, he, he had a little emergency. And oh, he couldn't keep his corals. Gosh. There, so he was throwing them out here under the nice lights, and it was going great. I mean, they were here for almost a month, I think. And then all so of a sudden, sad. So yeah. where were approximately the corals, right? Uh, I mean, pretty much front line and center. There was a hammer up there. Uh -huh. There was a, a nice eight can over here that he had, and then there was another. I think it was a golden torch, if I remember correctly. They took, of course, all the golden ones, the most expensive ones. If you guys know anything about them, you know yeah. they're, they're expensive dudes. So. Yeah, you know, these guys had a plan, too. They had a towel that was in their pocket. So every time they reached their hand down in the aquarium, they would pull their arm out and then wipe it down with a towel that they had in their pocket. Yeah. They, they definitely thought planned through. Yeah, yeah, they did. They planned it. Ocean's 11. We'll call it Ocean Corals 11. Sheesh, man. So basically, they were right there in front of the camera. And I'm going to show you guys the footage. So stay tuned. Yeah. They were standing here. And then there was a gentleman. There was two of them. Another one was right here. And so what they did was they were looking at corals in there. Didn't really see anything. Or maybe it was just kind of a, you know, a diversion. Most expensive stuff. Yeah, or exactly. Yeah. Just to, just to try to look interested, interested, like they're going to buy something. Then they came over here is where they started to dip their arm in. You see their arms wet. And they're drying them off. And, and you see their cup being full of salt water. Yeah, you can't come in there. Yeah, you can't come in here and, and dip your cup in the aquarium water. So they knew exactly what they had to do, right? They were dipping their cups in the saltwater aquarium. Then they were taking the corals and putting them in their cups, capping them back up with the straw. And then they actually had the nerve to pull their mask down and take drinks, fake drinks, out of their cups. Now hearing the full story and being those were Austin's personal corals, 17 year old boy, you know, he runs track in school and uh, these two knuckleheads stole his personal corals that he had here in the aquarium, worth over a thousand dollars. Man, come on guys. Man, you tripping. Why are you doing that, man? Do the right thing. Bring them back, okay? Just bring them back, put them on the counter and leave. Just give the kid back his corals, okay? People are going to know who you are, okay? Trust me, they will. Once they see this video and the photos that I have, um, yeah, I'm posting it all on here. So uh, just uh, giving you guys a heads up, all right? Do the right thing. All right, so right off the bat, Blake, I want to thank you for your time. I know the Ohana, everybody watching, uh, really appreciate your time to explain the story. He's super busy right now, and I'm grabbing him from customers. Don't forget, all right, guys, if you guys know these people or individuals or names, come on down to the shop. Let Blake, Jeff, anyone here know, and if they actually um, have the proof and they can actually press charges, they'll contact me. I'll come down here. $200 gift card for you guys. I really appreciate it. Let's share this video, and uh, let's get, you know, his corals back, man. I, I feel so bad for Austin, man. Yeah. And uh, so... Other than that, though, I just wanted to say thanks, my man, Amen. all right? We're going to get this solved, man. We're going to get this solved. Bless you guys. Hopefully, yeah. Now, I know you guys are probably super anxious and eager to see the surveillance footage on these two boneheads. We'll just call them, like I said, Lloyd and Harry. Dumb and dumber, all right? Let's go ahead and roll the footage. <gasps> okay, my Ohana, here we go. Now, coming down the aisle in the blue shirt is one suspect, and there's going to be another one to the right. Freeze it. Yep. Suspect one, suspect two. This guy here on the right has no idea there's a camera right there in his face. He walks by it, lick it. Freeze, that's what he looks like, guys. Please notice the really cool nine gauge earring he has in his ear. If you guys know who this is, please reach out to Geyser Pets. Give him a call. Now, they're gonna kind of bully their way through, kind of rude, and they're gonna go into the aquatic section. This is where the camera is set up on the wall that we pointed out to you guys, and this is the angle. They come in, this is where all the corals are open top they're kind of gauging what they're gonna do talking a little bit kind of whispering those little uh green squares that you see floating around i believe it's part of the surveillance camera of the camera focusing in on moving um spots and whatnot so just don't mind that that's what those little green squares are you can see they have their 44 ounce cups in their hand which are empty this guy's getting ready to pop his lid 
freeze. Notice the ugly mole on his nose, the weird patch on his mask, and the shark tooth puka shell necklace. We got some really good shots of these guys. Listen. They kind of know the names. They kind of bump the camera or the wall because it kind of moves. They know what they're looking after. They know what they want. They, they already know the names of corals. So um, this guy here in the front on the right, he's going to be going to the right of the aquariums. There he goes. Now this is the shot here where they're going to reach in and start taking the corals. This guy right here looks over his right shoulder, makes sure there's nobody there, grabs his cup, contaminates the damn tank, dips it in, grabs some salt water, and the guy on the right, he's going to actually grab his sleeve and roll it up a little bit with his arm slowly. Look at, he's kind of li like lifting his arm like, oh yeah, we can't see you. Yeah, it's pretty smooth guy. Look at him looking over his shoulder. And this is where he kind of moves out of frame, but he reaches down, grabs a coral or two, puts it inside his cup, and you can see when he backs away from the aquarium, he's putting his lid back on it. Right there, he's putting the lid back on, and you'll see him pull up. There he is, puts the lid on, he pulls out a towel that he has in his pocket, and he starts wiping his arm down because it's wet. Right in front of the camera, like, we don't know what you're doing. Yeah, pretty smooth, right? Dumb and dumber right here. So weird. Here they are, guys. Two really good shots of the actual suspects. Please, if you have any information on these two boneheads, please give Guys or Pets a call. We really appreciate it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But not only that, though, out of all the videos, over 200 videos that I've made on YouTube, this would be the one that I would want to share with everybody out there. Now, just so you know, I went to my local police department and asked them if it was legal for me to show these guys, uh, you know, faces on camera, especially on YouTube. And they said, yeah, we don't have a problem with that. So there you go. Let's get Austin's corals back, man. Just the way they did it. Pre-planned, you know, premeditated, came in with a 44 ounce cup zipping it in the saltwater tank, which they could have demolished that entire ecosystem of the aquarium. Just unnecessary, man. You know, then they go ahead and they grab the corals and stick it in their 44 ounce cup, put the cover back on with the straw, lift their actual mask down to take sips of the cup, fake sips. Dude, it's not even worth it for what, three corals? Yeah, I hope they get caught. I hope we blast them and uh, justice is served. You know, especially for our fish community, you know, local fish store. It's a family owned business, you know, and not only that, though, the corals belong to an employee that worked here. 17 year old boy, Austin, man, doing this for you, Austin. All right. So please share this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, and don't forget to give this video a big like, too. Other than that, we'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.